has been a while ever since we were together and um, welcome you once again to agrosense consultants class today we say that agrosense is where you get the knowledge and knowledge betters your skills and the skills being better improve the quality of the products that you produce agrosense quality information for sustainability my name is joseph Kuria. i'll be taking you through uh the weeds the strega species they are striga species they are so many species of striga and from our background two species as you can see the distinct characteristics and look into the flowers they are different uh they have uh, different colors and uh, the major uh, species of striga that affects uh, crops especially in africa is the striga harmonica it is a parasitic weed that affects the plants especially those from the family of the grasses such as maize rice soga millet amongst others it is important for you to note that striga infestation is high in less fertile soils and therefore if you want to control it it will be very easy once you know this tactic that striga infestation is high in less fertile soil and therefore in in highly fertile or in fertile soils uh, striga infestation is less or even um not 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 seen now when we talk about striker being parasitic what do we mean or how does it uh, happen that striker is a parasitic weed and we know that a parasite is an organism that depends on other on, on another organism called host uh, to obtain its nutrient or shelter uh, or water and um in striga it attaches itself to the host plant using an attachment structure called hostoria so this hostoria allows it to suck water and nutrients from the host plant this makes the host plant uh, appear to be weakly or unhealthy often you will realize that a plant has been infested with the uh, with the striga plant uh, once you see the striga plant attached attached uh, that has attached itself to the crop and um, uh, it is also easy to use other observations uh, to know the extent of uh, of, of the infestation of uh, of these striga uh, parasitic weeds to your uh, crops and um, some of these uh, effects are poor health of the plant uh, as the plant appears to be really uh, really unhealthy it also grows uh, very slowly and this one we call it stunted growth and uh, also may even die and the death can be partial if you look into our, um, our very uh, background photo you'll realize that there are uh, some portions of the leaves of the maize plant that have uh, died you can see some yellowing and these are result result of the competition uh, between uh, the maize crop and the striga species and these striga species uh, are very harmful and at mild at mild uh, infestation they might uh, not the these effects might not lead to death but when the infestation is heavy thus the even the whole plant can uh, can die also there is a reduced yield 
the plant produces less yields you realize that the yields have reduced and greatly reduced um, there are more effects of the striker to the host plant um, and we, we are glad if you can just send a comment down uh, there on the comment section so that we can add more onto this uh, to the farmer what are the effects the main effect of striga plants to the farmer is that the weeds are a source of losses to the farmer as they reduce yields and at the same time increasing the cost of production as the farmer has to incur more cost in managing the weeds so the farmer has to open up an account for expenses more expenses and that is the management of these weeds and uh, this requires uh, control of the striga before uh, the yield losses are too much. These weeds. Now, how do we control striga? This is uh, very important uh, to us. Uh, on how to control striga. How do we control these um, parasitic weeds, uh, having known that they lead to losses uh, to the farmer, and therefore um, they are and uh, they 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 bring negative uh, effects and significances uh, to the farmer. Now, how do you control the striga? Number one, we can say eroding. And roaching as the destruction of the pest uh, parasite by pulling, digging them out, or by use of any other physical means. Now, here, uh, our main agenda is to destroy it, to destroy it. And um, where the plant is heavily infested, you'll just be forced to destroy the, the, the host plant uh, also. To reduce the infestation, uh, maintaining a closed season, ensuring that these, there are no grasses in the field after harvesting. So uh, these grasses offer an alternative host for the weed. And so, if you maintain a closed se season, uh, the grassy the uh, striga will not go through a complete. Uh, it will not find a host to maintain it during this very season when uh, there's, uh, the field is closed. Uh, planting cover crops, uh, majorly the leguminous crops are the most efficient cover crops. They suppress the weeds and thus preventing their growth and spread. Now, rotation and intercropping is one of the uh, very important uh, methods of controlling uh, striker. Now the use of crops rotation system that doesn't allow favorable hosts to follow one another is a wise idea and the eradication of the weed is important that the, the vegetables, the, the, not the vegetables but the leguminous crops are not uh, infested. They don't uh, uh, favor the infestation of the striga, and therefore you can use um, uh, you can intercrop um, maize uh, with um, leguminous crops such as cowpea. You can also use um, makuna. You can also use um, um, those uh, those uh, that can form um, cover crop. Uh, also the legumes. The legumes. So intercropping with the leguminous crops will in enrich the soil and prevent losses as well as providing cover crop at the same time. This will help uh, suppress the weeds and reduce it from uh, the field. Direct seeding in onto the previous crop uh, crop residue. This enriches the soil, provide ground cover, and prevent the growth of the striga.
The use of striker resistant varieties consult your agricultural extension service provider to identify recent varieties that are hardy to striker. When you talk about being hardy, it means that they are they are resistant to uh, striker. And how do we talk about resistance to striker? We say that striker forms a hostoria. Now when um, in absence of this hostoria or when the hostoria cannot penetrate into these uh, varieties it means that the striga will will not find uh, the nutrients that it requires and thus it dies such varieties include okoa and shibe varieties of the use of herbicides, the application of herbicides to the field will er eradicate the spider crops and this should be done in consideration that the main crop is not hurt or killed. And uh, hereby when we talk about uh, being not hurt, we talk about the host plant which is um, uh, for example maize. You ensure that even as you use your herbicide, it doesn't kill the maize crops. So we also have suicidal germination. The seeds of striga germinate on stimulation by a hormone after it has sensed the presence of a host plant. And the application of such hormones onto the field before planting is done is done ensures that the seed germinates, but due to lack of the plant uh, of the host plant, the striga dies due to lack of nutrients uh, and water. Uh, then planting can be done later once uh, the striga is done away. Lastly, but not least, we have combined fertilization. The use of both the organic and inorganic fertilizers. The organic manures are rich in nutrients that they thus reduce the infestation of the striga. Inorganic fertilizers have a fixed amount of nitrogen and phosphorus that can be used to control the infestation. That was beautiful hosting you here. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues and anybody who would wish to have this information. Let's share it out. Um, let's meet in our next video. Turn on the red bell so that you can receive our notifications once we have posted a new video. Don't miss out.